Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's always got a update video for you. I didn't do a video on some of the smaller updates, but this one's huge, and there's really cool stuff in it. So I'm going to do an update video today, breaking down uh, what's changed. Uh, some of the gameplay updates are crazy. I'm going to get right into it. Um, so starting off, new abilities. This is one of the things that has me really excited about this update. These these abilities, to me, um, they, they really fit my play style specifically. I don't know if they necessarily fit yours, but on just about every... Every single down in the game, I'm typically either guessing run or pass. And now they have new abilities uh, called run committed and pass committed. So ultimately, if you're guessing run or guessing pass and you have players with these abilities, um, it's going to basically boost what they what they do to stop said play. So if you use run committed on a defender uh, and you guess run, this I'm going to guess that you if you whatever defender you have is going to blow through the blocks. So if it's like a fourth and goal or you know third and inches or something like that, and you have a run run committed uh, ability on one of your players, he's going to bust through that line and he's going to shut down that run, which is something that I think the game kind of needs. Because ultimately, it feels like if you don't guess run in a lot of these short distances, you typically aren't going to get the stops. But the one that sounds really overpowered that's going to get a lot of pressure is going to be the new pass committed. So essentially, if you guess pass and your opponent passes, which let's, let's say it's like a third and 15, it's pretty obvious they're going to pass, right? Your defender will win the pass blocks. Uh, more often than not, which is going to end up in a lot of sacks on, on, on long situations. This one's going to be overpowered because if you guess pass already, you get a little bit of a boost when it comes to pass rushing based off of the fact um, that the you know they won't bite on the play action, they won't uh, your defender won't you know they won't make the mistake of going after the running back when it's not really there. So you already get a boost. Now they're suggesting, and it doesn't say dominantly like it does run committed. With run committed, it says it will win dominantly with the run blocks. This just says it will win pass blocks. But that's enough. So if you are having issues getting pressure by any means, having this on your defensive lineman is going to be huge. The next one is deflator. Now, this is another one. If you have this on a couple of players on your defense, essentially it will increase fatigue on a player that they tackle. So if somebody's running the ball a lot and you're tackling them with this particular uh, defensive ability, deflator, you will essentially take away um, their stamina. So the next play, they're going to be tired. I mean, just imagine if you're hitting several players. It doesn't say just ball carriers like running backs. You can do it to quarterbacks. You can do that to. Uh, receivers. Everybody knows that when your teammate, when your, your best players are tired, they're much less effective. So having this is another one that looks kind of broken. So those are probably the two biggest ones to me that are definitely um, we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of advantages gained uh, whether you use pass committed or deflator. But those are probably the two that I'm going to find. Whatever players have those are going to be the players that I'm going to probably want to put on my team and uh, give a lot of, of advantages when it comes to defensive players. Now it also sounds like they toned down the enforcer, essentially computer controlled defenders uh, with enforcer are not going to get as many hit sticks because <laughs> apparently they were getting a lot of fumbles. Sounds like they changed some of the functions that people were probably having issues with. I was having a little bit of issue with this first one, the QB slide function. Uh, now, basically, you used to have to double tap to make them slide, and I think I already kind of noticed this. It felt like they already kind of put this in. Now, uh, when you're running with the quarterback, uh, the dive button will always be a slide. Uh, like I said, that probably resulted in a lot of fumbles. People didn't really know how to do that in the new in the new Madden. It was different than the last year. Uh, so that sounds like they fixed that or changed it, I should say. I don't think it was really broken if you knew how to do it. And then it looks like they also fixed, I mean, they fixed, this is they modified the, the journal a little bit. I guess there was some oversteering issues. It sounds like they fixed that. But then after that, it looks like they just fixed a lot of cosmetic stuff when it comes to the ball carrier. So I guess quarterbacks sometimes would enter a tackle animation when attempting attempting to slide, which led to fumbles. It sounds like they tried to fix that. I never had that issue, so I can't say that was huge. Uh, then it says they also uh, fixed a stumble issue and a fall forward issue uh, with running backs after collision already happened on their legs. So didn't look realistic. They kind of try to clean that up a lot of this stuff it just seems like they try to clean up some of the bugs uh of things that you know really uh just looked weird but not necessarily had too much of a uh, a change on the gameplay so that's something that i'm not really gonna go too much into but it sounds like they're trying to clean up some of the the, the poorly triggered poorly timed animations uh which really just kind of takes away from the immersion of the game now here's something that they addressed uh which i don't necessarily think i should take credit for 
Um, but it's something that I, they call it a legacy issue. I'm going to call it the Mad Money Shot issue because I, I want to say that I might have been the first person to start doing this in mass. Um, I know that a couple years ago, uh, out of the bunch of verticals, I used to just motion out um, the, the, the outside route. And you could throw underneath the, uh, the cover three and cover four to that. They took it away in previous years. Now it's back in this Madden, and now it sounds like they're trying to take it away again. So it sounds like they're they're trying to add a new logic to curl flats and quarter flats to try to take away that throw, uh, which is something I kind of expected. That's why I didn't really mention it that it was back in the game when I when I made uh, you know some of my ebooks and stuff like that. It seems like that's something that um, I knew they would try to take away because they took it away successfully before in a really kind of dumb way. The way they took it away last time was you would if you threw the ball you would get an early throw animation and it would like throw the ball out of bounds or it would just totally like make a stupid throw so that you couldn't make that throw well now hopefully they did a better job of actually fixing it rather than just like adding some stupid quirk that made the throw impossible to make or your quarterback would throw it out of bounds or you'd throw it too far all kind of stupid stuff that would happen uh, to make that impossible rather than actually addressing it sounds like now they're actually addressing it, it sounds like they're gonna have something when it comes to the defense you call that does a better job of covering it they also fixed a motion issue that caused defensive backs in man coverage that were covering receiver um, in a motion to swap assignment so ultimately you would have like your your cornerback on the left side of the field covering the, the receiver on the right side of the field it was stupid that's been that's been a long-standing issue too uh where man aligning sometimes man aligning doesn't even fix it like it just gets so screwed up so hopefully they did fix that uh we'll tell in time because that's probably something that if it was specific to certain plays it'll probably still happen in other plays so i i, I some of these things i, I doubt that it, they actually fix because that was something that was so broken it almost seems like it's something broken broken to the core of the game when it comes to man aligning and man uh, defense rather than just uh, some people were exploiting it because I've been noticing that for a long time and I got a feeling I'm still going to notice that. They, it looks like they fixed a route swapping issue which is something I also noticed was in the game. A lot of times I would I would have routes swap that I didn't even intend to swap um, so it's, it makes it sound like the way the people were doing it was they would audible and then reset their play twice, reset their play call twice. Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, I, I never really found a ton of use for route swapping. I, I have uh, much better, easier ways to beat defenses than need to route swap. But for people that were doing that, I guess it was an issue. I don't know. I, to me, it's not that big a deal. Uh, because, like I said, I, I can I can exploit any defense I want regardless. I don't necessarily need to do something as tacky as route swapping. Uh, but maybe people are having a lot more success with it than I'm aware of. But, like I said, it's never something that I thought that was something that I needed to do. Another one here, which sounds like it was maybe may directly as a result from this channel, they says they fixed a issue where defensive backs were reacting too slowly to auto motion receivers. Uh, basically, what I think they're trying to say is that uh, there are certain plays that I put out that when you motion the receiver across, the DB was, would flip, and they would flip. They flip so slowly that a lot of times you would have a wide open receiver. So that was something I put out of the gun empty base, middle high low. Doesn't sound like that's going to work like that anymore. Uh, it's still a really good cover two play, but ultimately that's something that um, you know that probably needed to be fixed. And I said in the video that I thought it would be patched. They've tried to patch that play twice now, so it sounds like that's probably going to be a lot less effective against anything other than cover two and man coverages. A lot of this patch really goes towards a lot of the bugs that weren't necessarily um, game breaking, but they were just, uh, they just look stupid. And it looks like they tried to fix a lot of those. Now here's one that I think that's definitely a good, um, a good fix. They said they tuned the ball physics to reduce the frequency of footballs consistently repeatedly bouncing off of moving players to keep the play alive. So ultimately, have you ever seen that where the ball just keeps bouncing back and forth, back and forth like it's made of helium or something? Ultimately, um, that's something that would result in a lot of interceptions because the ball was alive so long. Uh, and it would give the uh, it would give your defensive opponent or yourself uh, the ability to just keep hitting the catch button and hopefully catch it one of those bounces, uh, which is just really unrealistic. The ball doesn't bounce like that. So ultimately, they, they, they try to address that. So some really good improvements. I'm happy with a lot of the things that I'm looking at right now. With online play, it looks like they fixed a grieving ability uh, where you could just let endless false start penalties happen, um, which now after three, you get kicked out of the game. I've actually had... Uh, play games that I've been playing where you get kicked out for grieving when you weren't grieving. It doesn't have to be three consecutive. A lot of times it's just three th three throughout the game. Now it says it, you'll have a combination of any three consecutive either false starts or delay of games or a combination of both 
uh, you're getting booted. So I, I noticed I've been in games where I've had my opponent booted when he wasn't actually trying to grieve, but it was like uh, I'm talking about like friendly matches with friends where over the course of the game they just happen to accumulate three false starts or delay games or whatever, and they would get booted out of the game, and it wasn't even intentional. I've I've been kicked out of game for accumulating three uh, delay games over the course of the game that wasn't necessarily on purpose. So hopefully they say here it says consecutive. Hopefully that's the case. But I've noticed been kicked out of games uh, where I got false start penalties just like real, just just not watching the clock or making too many adjustments. So going on to ultimate team, here's one where it makes it sound like um, the ability to uh, play a challenge over and over and over to rank up might be fixed. Not really sure. It says addressed an exploit where users could complete one play challenges and get bonus XP. So I don't know if that's something that they're taking away the ability to um, essentially just do the same challenge over and over and over to get to the end of the mutt levels. That's what it kind of sounds like, but it's really it's really a short description. So if that's the case, I know a lot of people are going to be upset about that. Um, but that's something that they probably should have fixed years ago if that's the case. Sounds like they they updated the ability to uh, to to uh, chew clock. But maybe you'll have a little extra time now because sometimes when you chew clock, you don't have the ability to make pre-snap adjustments. It sounds like they addressed that, but they didn't give any specifics, uh, which, you know, it'd be nice if they would have said exactly how much time you have, if that's the case. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, let me know in the comment section hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.